Now we're at Tecmo Koi America, and the games they have are Girl Dressed Up and Endless Fighting Game that I've not heard of before. Oh, it's Samurai Warriors 4. Okay. I'm a guy wearing a skirt, I think. Oh. Now, the point of Samurai Warriors 4 and many games in the series is to just keep hurting people. So this might be League of Legends 2. This is a game you could play while talking to your girlfriend. You know, and just be like, yeah, yeah, whatever, babe. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think this game would be a lot more fun if they put in funny sound effects. Basically like a honk noise, or there'd be like secret sound noises you can put in here. Uh, this is... This is... I think, you know, this game needs to be on Vita. Um, I think so you can go to the toilet while playing this, because this is a good game for the, you know, when you're on the toilet. If I was on the toilet right now with this, that'd be great. I'm done playing this. My basic review of Samurai Warriors 4 is it's a lot fun to be playing this game while doing something else. Okay, this one is Atelier Rorona Plus, the Alchemist of Arland, probably Texas. So this takes place in Texas, I think. So you're, I think, a magical girl or boy, and you're trapped in your parents' sublet apartment. Oh, wait, no, you're not. That was a workshop. This better be the Etsy I think it is, and I can get really, you know, cool items online. So Tecmo Koi, I'd say I had fun. Samurai Warriors 4, a very fun game if you want to be on the toilet and killing ninjas or whatever those things are. So definitely pick that up if you want to kill people. We're at the Bandai Namco Games booth. Yay! One Piece Unlimited World, which looks fairly boring. Excuse us. Yeah, Tales of Zigzalia 2. Uh, that looks uh, really fun. You have Renko Sukagimi's Longest Day. This also looks like it's a game. That might be interesting, actually. And then are we at the Tecmo Koi booth again? Oh wait, no, we're just at Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. So it's basically a Tecmo Koi game, you know, Dynasty Warriors, except you're a Gundam. So it's all the inaneness of uh, fighting endless battles that might be fun to do on the toilet, but doing it with giant robots. So definitely decide, hmm, do I want to kill people as a giant robot or a legend in uh, Japanese and Chinese history? Either of those, whatever you want to do, it's always fun to play on your toilet. Game here, there's Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, because they couldn't cram more words into a damn title. And it's another fighter, except your Naruto characters. A series where ninjas are very flamboyant looking and do not hide ever Naruto. They have Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, a fighter where you have weird attacks and even weirder characters uh, bashing it out. It's based on a manga and famous anime series that's been very popular in Japan. Okay, I'm gonna go a play-by-play. -play. Um, these two are over a fight over a bill at a restaurant. The blue guy tried to leave early and give the bill to the green guy. I think they're both Jonathan Joestar. They're twin brothers whose parents are vindictive jerks who named them both the na same name. So the bill, you know, it angered them. They were at a nice bistro, and, you know, one of them decided to leave, the blue one. So what kind of a jerk does that? He's, he's, a get a, he's about to get his butt kicked. Oh. One of them is going to do something magical now. Oh! He's going to have to pay that bill now. Shall we date? Dating sim game from Japan. Uh, maybe we'll play it on the show. On the show. On the show. On the show.